Hey, welcome back into today's video. Big for Jay has finally responded to the horrible allegations against him. The uh, well, the apology ish, -ish thing that he did. We're gonna go over that. Uh, let's get into it. This is called the truth about beg for jay which is the exact same title as uh britney simon's video the truth about beg for jay and the title of a lot of other people's videos about him now it starts off he's <laughs> got a shovel and you might be wondering what exactly is he's doing and well that's right. He's digging. He's literally digging his own grave. Which he goes on to specify. In case, in, case you, in case you didn't know, that's what he was doing. Now this is where my first issue with this video comes into play. Is the fact that uh, women, not just one, not two, a lot of women have came out with not just them talking evidence videos texts uh, photographs uh, uh, recordings of what you have done that's right Greg what he has done in the the proper way to start the video should be a I'm sorry I would think we get not even 30 seconds into the video and the first thing you do is call them all liars which if anyone knows anything about abuse and stories of abuse the worst possible thing that you can do to a victim is uh, to call them a liar is to call the story a lie now even like here's the thing let's say let's take it a little bit lighter and say that you hurt their feelings you don't know what the other person is thinking or feeling it's, it's impossible to know really so you might have hurt their feelings and not realized it and then they would say to you you hurt my feelings and then by saying to them you're a liar that's very alarming and very disrespectful and doesn't show very much emotional intelligence so the video is off to a bad start it's not that important to me as far as views and followers and everybody's saying oh like he's losing followers like hit him where it hurts like bro i think you have this completely wrong um i don't think anyone was saying hit him where it hurts views and subscribers that's that's not what this is about man this is about what you've done it's not about views and subscribers no one's celebrating your failing channel and loss of subscribers it's the fact that we're raising awareness towards what you've done. Brittany Simon has made it completely aware that she is afraid of the danger that you pose in the BDSM community. That is why you're banned in several BDSM communities throughout the US. And why other people are making videos out against you because you're hurting their culture. They're, you're hurting their way. And that's, that's really al alarming and not just that you're hurting people and it's for you to even say that you think this is about money views clout things like that not only shows more disrespect but your complete lack of understanding on what you actually did moving forward Christ, that shit blows my mind if you guys still think to this day and I have a YouTube channel because I was so desperate for women that I needed to create this fake persona and start something like that. That's where you're wrong. So that's why I'm going to give you this video exactly how Jay was. Nobody said that you had a fake persona. I don't even think anybody said, well, I, I take that back. I said it looks like you're just a normal dude, a, the normal abusive ex that is using this channel to get... Uh, girls that's what it looked like it really and it's not i mean it does look like that but the thing is is that not so much as we think that you were doing that or we thought you were having portraying that persona because we were 
bringing awareness to the persona that you are portraying, which is that you are a very, very intelligible in, is that a word, intelligible, in the BDSM community, which you are not. And which in the uh, previous video I made, and in Brittany Simon's video, a BDSM, uh, we're gonna say professional, told you, learned you that you were not, and you even agreed yourself. I have a video recording of you and Joe's text messages from when you told the story very differently last year. Let's just touch on this real quick. Don't touch because on this it. This whole thing happened with Sabrina about a year, a year and a half ago. So he, throughout this whole video, he brings up one recording, one recording that make that we don't even know is if it's legitimate or not. All I gotta say is if you do think this is a conspiracy against you to take down your channel, to hurt your character, to defame you, you need to, as a content creator, you should make a video that has actual context, contextualize your evidence. Because right now, you're all you're doing is saying that the allegations are not true, that these women are lying without telling us and giving us anything. Right now, this video is quite literally a beg for J story time. You can't, it's completely uncomparable to Brittany Simon's video, which was, yes, long, but it needed to be because she actually had guest interviews from people that were directly affected by you, people that were permanently injured by you, people that have doctor's reports, text messages, recordings. That, that was a very in-depth video full of evidence where that's what makes her a very good content creator is that she put context into her creation to show, to use her platform, to raise awareness at the damage that someone that cannot put context into their videos could do. And obviously you can't even put context into your apology video. Basically, it's a uh, the truth about beg for Jay. Literally, it, you you've made a video against yourself because you don't provide any evidence. That's mind blowing. And uh, Joe was there, and you shot. Joe helped out a lot. We got into my car. We went to 7-Eleven. We did two or three photos in 7-Eleven, and then we kind of got kicked out. It was a good time. We laughed. We had a fun time. Then. See, guy, look, you're just telling a story. I beg for Jay's story time, everybody. I, I, like, dude, listen, if you're serious, if you're serious about this, maybe you don't have the skill to do this, but I would just do it in the best way that you can or hire somebody else to do it for you. Get all your evidence, because it's like, it's not like a court of law on the internet. It's not innocent until proven guilty. It's you're, you, you're guilty, right? So you have to sort of be your own lawyer and collect your own evidence and protect your platform here because this is your brand, man. This is this is your brand. So you need to act a little bit more serious about it. You need to break down why these these are lies or not and pre present the case to your audience. That's, that's the least that they deserve because these horrible allegations, Brittany Simon made this video breaking it down with all full evidence undeniable evidence that this is you in those video recordings texts it's pretty bad pretty damning pretty condemning and your video is very lacking it's literally you just talking and then it follows up at the end of it by you saying that you don't give a f dude dang if i was a subscriber of yours I would be very, very disappointed, man. Like, what are you doing? So, in all reality, I'm gonna keep doing my shit. And if you guys have watched any of my videos to the end, you should hear how they end, because, well, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, you know that I'm the- Probably the worst response video that I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh. Let's let's get real. Let's let's break it down. Okay, check this out. This this is real. Okay. All right. He provides no context, evidence, nothing to support his claims where he only vocally talks. This is a beg for Jay story time where he talks and says that these allegations are false. They're lies. He says everybody's quick to jump, but he gives no reason as to why people should come back. In fact, he says, F everyone. Um, 
he started off uh digging his own grave literally uh then he goes and says that all these women are lying. not one not two not three not four a bunch a bunch a lot are all lying have some respect have some decency have some maturity stand up at least put some effort into your response video act like you care if your subscribers come or go act like you care do something man like that's all i'm gonna say but because it's interesting as this is there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it i want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative or interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up thumbs like as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video it was just very lacking i guess I, I expected more you you know uh, don't be prideful have a little bit of emotional intelligence these women were hurt hurt by you maybe you don't feel like you hurt them but be a man own up and say I'm sorry if something that I've done has offended you and if, as far as anything else you need to provide contextual evidence why these things are false is this a conspiracy against you one hell of a good conspiracy if it is fake uh but i know that you're ripping if you're not ripping you're great and how do you become a member of the rep squad all you gotta do is subscribe for notification turn on because i'm gonna be there greg the cat is going to be there and the rest of the rep squad community is going to be there as well and i expect to see you too because this channel loves you I don't know what you guys think. MGK, Eminem, go.